Hello, my name is Robert Llewellyn and I'm going to show you how the new Ecotricity app and payment system works. So there's been a few changes to the system that Ecotricity used to uh, run their rapid chargers like this one here. Now, if you're an existing Ecotricity Energy customer with the uh, Electric Highway app on your smartphone, you, all you have to do is update that app. Mine updated automatically, so it, it now works uh, on the new system. So if you're an existing electric highway user, you'll be used to these chargers and how the system works. But the, the difference is how you pay for it. You pay a three pound connection charge and then you pay 17 pence a kilowatt hour and you can charge the car for up to 45 minutes. So it gives people a lot longer to charge their cars if they need to and you know exactly what you're paying for it and it's shown very clearly on the app as you're paying for it. If you're an existing Ecotricity Energy customer, you don't have to pay the connection charge. You just pay the 17 pence a kilowatt hour charge, which I think is much fairer. So you use, you're paying for exactly the amount of electricity you're using. Now, if you're a completely new customer, you've just got an electric car and you want to charge it using rapid chargers, then you download the app, you log in, you can put in your details, uh, your credit card details and everything like that. Once you've done that once, it's really, really easy to use. But here's a really important tip. Now, all these chargers are now fitted with very local area Wi-Fi. So even if you're in the most remote place on Earth and you don't have a signal on your phone, you can still use them. So you have to be quite near them. And here's the really, the really special secret. So when you get near it, I'm at Gloucester South. It says EH Wi-Fi, Electric Highway Wi-Fi, Gloucester South. So I know that's the one. And you log into that and then you've got to put in the super top secret password. And here's a clue. It's Ecotricity. If you're not sure how to spell it, you've got it on the machine there. You put that in, then you've got a Wi-Fi signal that will main, make sure that your uh, Ecotricity Electric Highway app works straight away. All you then do is you click Charge on the app, and then you go scan the pump's QR code. I love doing this. And then you point the, the phone at the QR code, and it's like that. I love it. It's so quick. It reads the QR code, and it says, oh, you've got Gloucester services, M5 southbound, junction 11A. And I go, yes. Then I have to choose which charger. I'm going to choose Chadamo because that's what the Nissan Leaf uses. You've selected Chadamo. Continue. And my connection fee is £3. And my rate per kilowatt hour is 17 pence. It's all very clearly it's done that. So I then press continue. Select the card you wish to use. Yes, that one. So now I can see on the screen that it's telling me to connect the car. So I then connect the car up. So now the app is telling me I've got 44 minutes remaining, so I'm not going to stand here and do it, I'm going to go and get a cup of coffee. But so far it's cost me £3.07. So every kilowatt hour is 17 pence, I've put 0.4 of a kilowatt hour in so far. It's nice. I'm going to go and get a coffee. Now one more really important thing to remember, once you've put the connector back, press the I've disconnected button on the app. And that tells the system that you've disconnected and it will automatically generate an email to tell you how much you've spent charging your car. So there's a few other things you really should remember when using these uh, rapid chargers. Sort of etiquette, basic etiquette. If you drive an internal combustion engine and you park here, that's not good etiquette. That's being very, very rude. These are filling stations for electric cars. If you drive an electric car and you go, oh, look, there's an electric car parking place and you just park there and you don't charge, that is extremely rude. Please don't do that. If you're charging here and you're plugged in, brilliant. But as soon as you finish charging, even if you're staying at the location for longer, move your car to an ordinary car park so other people can use it. It's pretty basic, simple to understand stuff. Just treat the, the system with respect, treat each other with respect. If you come to one of these and you see someone else trying to charge their car, maybe they've never done it before, give them a hand, help them out. The electric vehicle community is very friendly. I've met lots of really lovely people at electric car charging places. I've often helped people out work, to work out how to use the charger the first time and they'll pass on that information to the next people they met. So let's keep it nice. Let's be polite and let's use the system responsibly. Well, that's it. I'm now fully charged and I'm off. Happy electric motoring.